uh, what is a research proposal what is a statement of purpose if these questions are keep uh, keeping bombarded hello guys hope all of you are doing well so in this video i am going to uh, share very important topic with you so there are many requests uh, regarding uh, to make a video how to write research proposal and sop that is statement of purpose for the upcoming interview for phd as well as integrated phd so writing a research proposal in your own words and uh, how to express your uh, uh, feelings about physics or in which area you are going to do your research that really matters and how to write all those words in a research proposal in a compact way that is also essential thing i am not saying that uh, writing a good research proposal will uh, ensure your selection in interview but if you are called for an interview then it will have a positive impact or it will have a plus point if you have a good research proposal say you have mentioned a particular area or particular topic that you have mentioned that you want to do your research in that particular area that means the interviewer or the supervisor who are going to select you through interview they will know that yes this candidate has an interest in physics and he has some understanding so he is ready to do his research or her research okay that is why research proposal is important like last year uh, the institutes uh, i have filled for a phd interview in those only aizar mohali and jain sir have asked to write a research proposal and state of statement of purpose in a short words so that time i i have not write it correctly or i didn't realize the importance of those but it is important when you are called for an interview your final selection for interview or final interview call only depend on your jes grade or net jre plan that is the main criteria but it will always have a positive impact factor when you are in the interview research proposal also very much important if you go abroad for psg so in abroad this research proposal thing is very much important but in our country in future that will be mandatory for every research institute to submit a research proposal but for now i have seen that uh, many of the iit is asking for the research proposal this year that is why i thought this video will be very much helpful so please watch till the end i will uh, share with you some standard research proposal that i have got from your friends and i i am also going to share my own ideas of how to write all those things so without wasting much time let's go into the main video so while uh, filling up uh, your application form for phd or integrated phd many institute are asking you to uh, write a research proposal in short words and uh, write a statement of purpose so basically uh, what is a research proposal what is a statement of purpose if these questions are keep uh, keeping bombarding in your mind then uh, you are at the right place my friend so i will be answering Uh, all the queries how to write a research proposal what should be the construction of a research proposal and uh, what is basically called an sop how to write sop and uh, what are the importance of these things uh, for application in phd so first of all your research proposal or sop does not ensure your selection in your interview right so your research proposal is something in which uh, you should write the topic uh, in that area you are particularly going to do your research Okay, then if you submit a good uh, research proposal, then in the interview board, the interviewer will uh, get to know that this is your particular area you want to do your research. Then maybe all the interview question will start looking at your research proposal. So the question will uh, coming from the uh, those particular point of view uh, that have you mentioned in the research proposal. So be careful while uh, writing research proposal. So do not utter any words that you can't explain in the interview board. So in that way, your interview selection may start, but I can never guarantee. But uh, there is a possibility of doing that. So now the question comes: How to write a research proposal? So research proposal contain some main important points. First of all, you need to write a title. That means you should uh, particularly say in which topic you want to do your research. Let's say. you want to do some fast charging battery or say super capacitor or graphene battery or in my case as you can see, uh, as you can say that i am interested to do my research uh, in uh, quantum tunneling phenomena in tunneling junction so specify your research topic in the title then uh, the second point is introduction 
So briefly write about the topic that you want to do your research. Uh, for your reference, you can Google some good research paper in that topic by going to Sci-Hub or to some journal website study for nature, applied physical reviewer. Many more research papers are there. Or you can uh, use a common part platform called the Scopus. From those, if you search a particular topic, it will show the corresponding paper related to that topic. So you can gain knowledge from that. You can write from the research paper the abstract part. So if you have gone through a research paper, you know that there is some abstract part at the beginning of a research paper. So you can write those introduction from the research paper. So do your homework, homework and uh, study the necessary things that you are going to write your research proposal. Next, problem statement. That means in that particular area, have you found any problem that is unsolved still now? Obviously, this is a uh, early to say even I am not getting any problem to do my research in that topic. But uh, some students are really advanced. I know some uh, managed to publish their papers in, in their project work also. So they are smart enough. So if you can mention a problem in that particular area, then it will be a really great your interviewer or supervisor will know that yes uh, this guy is really motivated to his research he has already decided his problem so he is ready to go let's have a try with him on so that is going to be a really really plus point if you can uh, briefly state your problem statement then objective so objective is something why that topic excites you uh, so write uh, what should be the impact uh, if the research have any impact on the human society uh, that can it contribute to the society in any way like say uh, if you have carbon nan nanotube there are some application in, in uh, filtration of water so nowadays there is a scarcity in water especially in Chennai so if you can develop those technologies so that should be your object so that uh, you want to say that I want to focus in this area that will be helpful for the humankind or uh, may have some uh, various practical application uh, towards the technology so it will contribute to the technology part also and also you can uh, mention the point uh, the realization of your interest uh, at early stage that means uh, how have you come across this topic uh, yeah which incident or which experiments have you done or which topic you have read in MSc or you have done any project you know, that has motivated you to work in this topic obviously it may be uh, not going to your final topic in your research but as a brief idea, your interviewer will have an estimation of you that yes, uh, this this topic you know, you want to focus on those areas only. So this is all about how to write a research proposal. So you can uh, keep on the mind, uh, keep on keep in mind all these points, and you can write in your own words. So don't copy it from anywhere else. There are few videos in YouTube, but uh, those are only writing a standard research proposal. But this is I am talking about when you are filling an application form for PhD or integrated PhD. These are the points you show. Then what is statement of purpose? So statement of purpose is something. Uh, what are the interest in the field of physics? What are the topic that excites you most? You should write all those things. And secondly, you will briefly discuss your project work if you have done so. If not, uh, you are interested in a particular topic that we, you should also write briefly. Then, uh, why you, you want to uh, become a researcher, right? So there are many more fields, why are you choosing this part? Obviously, PhD is a huge course, uh, so you, the, the motivation in physics uh, always uh, keeps help you to do your research. So nothing, it is the motivation that uh, will uh, keep you in the path to do your research. So you would uh, write some motivational topics that you have got motivated. Let's say you have got motivated from the superconductivity, superfluidity, let's say height is a superconductor and uh, room temperature superconductor, maybe in future year uh, we'll be, we'll be uh, able to construct also. That is a contract trait of you obviously. Next, uh, what are the topics that are really given you interest? Let's say you have superconductivity, I have already discussed, superfluidity, or you can be specific, what are the particular topics that uh, you have uh, got your interest. So some students may be influenced by their teachers at MSc or BSc level. You can also write what are the topics your 
uh, teachers have taught you you can also bring physics next what are the interest in physics or what are the sorry what are the experiments in physics that you have done in your msc or bsc let's say you have done thin plane deposition you have seen that in nano dimension all the properties have changes significantly from the bulk scale so you can write those experiments that you have been motivated to do your phd in experimental research from those kind of experiments so this is the third point you can write next if you have done any significant project if you have got interested while doing your project write the project directly and with whom you have worked in the project and while doing this project does this project uh, help you in a growing interest in that particular topic then you can also write that and if you want to continue uh, the project topic you have done for research you can also do that if so simply you can say so while doing this project i i have uh, got really motivated to work in that field you can also mention that so some people manages uh, their project work to publish so that much level project work people also do so that, then that is a very much plus point so some people have already published paper in while in doing project obviously i know some of my friends who have published paper in uh, doing that. now i'll be sharing with you some statement of purpose that my friends have shared with me so thank you guys for sharing this statement of purpose yes of course i will hide your uh, identity i'm not showing this i am only going to show the body of the statement of purpose so one statement of purpose has written so he applied for abroad at stony brook so he have done his also projects some serious project you can say so he is from the high energy physics background so um, he have uh, discussed all those things so you can see here you can go through it you can pause the screen and you can take it for your guidance of writing this and secondly this sop also written by my friends so he has applied in jncs are in condensed matter theory part so he, uh, he have written what are his motivation to do research so he have listed out the things and uh, if he have done any project so this is all about research proposal and state point of purpose and one more important thing i should tell you guys so you have uh, submitted all the application forms maybe some application forms are still going on so keep an regular track to those web websites if any important announcement are there if they have already published uh, the selected candidates for calling to interview for bsg or integrated bsg so you make a separate folder in your pc by institute name i used to also do that and also save their website and login password you can regularly check you also regularly check your official email id for any updates regarding so that you should keep on mind so that you don't miss any important messages or important date and time in the process and third in the one of the most important thing you can say you should prepare a cv of yourself for future use so how will be that cv so that cv should not be a formal cv Uh, like job interview to some private or government sector so that this cv is going to um, far different from those so this cv should contain from brief discussion about you your academic career your achievement then uh, if you have done it, if you have a uh, knowledge in computer programming let's say python c++ or netlab then uh, this uh, knowledge will obviously help you in doing simulations in data so if you are going to do your research in simulation part you can also mention this and thirdly you can mention the projects you have done in msc if you have not done any projects you you can skip those part but most of the guys have done project so you can briefly discuss the topic there and uh, and uh, briefly maybe you can also write your hobbies uh, what are the hobbies you like uh, uh, apart from uh, only study so this cv you can save for future as like let's say you have been selected uh, in a particular institute then some institute uh, uh, give you the option especially in iits to uh, select your uh, selector guys uh, at first that is uh, before the course work 
then you can uh, forward this CV by email to every supervisor so that they can go through your profile and they have interest uh, to do work, his work with you. So you can uh, use this CV that way. So this is will going this is going not going to be the formal CV, but this CV is solely made for your PhD interview and PhD selection. Okay, yeah, this has a positive impact on the supervisor. So many people will approach a particular guy, but if you or she have to choose a particular student, so this CV may be some help. Maybe that supervisor will not be available at the interview board. So how can you recognize how good you are? So looking at the CV, he will have an overall estimation. Okay, so that way you can also do. So that's for it today. I hope I have shared some important information with you. So if you have found this video worth watching, then hit like, comment what do you feel about this video and most importantly subscribe to my channel so that and hit the best uh, notification bell icon so that uh, when, whenever I upload new videos in my channel you will be notified as well. So I will be back soon. Till then stay safe, stay home. Bye bye.